No, I haven't forgotten about you. Uh, it's just been crazy. My husband's 60th birthday party, getting ready for Christmas, and work was just out of control. So it's Sunday today, and I'm finally getting around to filming a little bit. And there's just a little thing that I wanted to show you. So again, I have not forgotten about you. YouTube is always on my mind, although they're pissing me off right now, but that's another story altogether. doing it is December the 10th <laughs> 14 more days for Christmas uh, if you are celebrating it I sure am and uh, I decorated the house a little bit here's my office it is not like, as nice as it used to be in my previous YouTube spot I had the fireplace behind me but I created some more ambience with some more U lights that I added to my room so I can change the light color depending on my mood. So today it's um, orange and green or yellow and green or yellow and white, whatever. It's just springy with a Christmas tree. So what I wanted to talk to you about is this new tripod that I got from PGY Tech. You may know that I really, really like PGY Tech. I used to have the PGY Tech Mantis Pod this is the Mantis Pod 2.0. It's a little bit different, a little bit cheaper, quite, actually quite a lot cheaper, half price of what the Mantis Pod was. Mantis Pod, not Prod. The Mantis Pod Pro is twice the price of this Mantis Pod 2.0, but I do very much prefer the 2.0. And I'm gonna to explain to you exactly why. First of all, it is a little bit lighter, not by much, but a little bit lighter. I do like the shape it is. It's very easy to grip because you want to use this as a handheld grip when you want to video something without bringing out the gimbal, which I never do. So you mount the camera on the top here and then walk around with it, which is obviously aided by this new edition, which totally got me. This little thing, is a wireless uh, USB-C rechargeable remote control for the Mantis Pod 2.0 that sits magnetically in the body. So you can use this teeny, teeny, tiny thing to do whatever you want with your camera. It can zoom in, zoom out, even when you don't have a zoom lens because of the clear image too that Sony has, hallelujah. You can film and you can shoot pictures just with this like insanely small little bitty remote and it works like a charm and it sits in the handle so when you're using it to film like you're saying you're going around with the filming you can use it shoot pictures film you don't even have to do anything on the camera you just go that's one of the functions that i really really like the next one is this amazing ball head that comes with it it's not amazing in the sense it's it's not as firm as it should be like it's not for a super heavy camera with a super heavy lens and then why again would you want to carry a super heavy lens and a super heavy camera like this doesn't make any sense but for a medium size small size camera this works just fine the great thing about this ball head is how it attaches to the camera so it has this little lever here with this little lever, you open up the plate. And then once the plate's in, with this little lever here, you firm it in place and it doesn't come off. You have the camera on a base plate like I do. You slide that in there and you lock it in place. And there's a little tiny screw here. You see that? And for the a small rig base plate for the A6700. This actually is a safety. It doesn't come off. So I was so pleased. Now, this also moves when you when you push this button. You can move the uh, the ball head in itself, rotate it the way you need it. Okay. 
And obviously, also the ball head itself, you can rotate whatever. Over here, there's a cool chew mount that you can put a light in because if you have a Sony camera, you don't need a cable if you buy a Sony or uh, a Sony microphone. With a Sony microphone, no cables. You don't, you just put it on a hot shoe mount. Here, you can put a light if you want that. I don't know if you need a light. You know. Get a better lens, less, less, get a better lens, an F1.4 and forget about lights because for lights to look good in video, <laughs> you need to have a big softbox to make it look good. Otherwise, it's just like glaring shadows everywhere. It's so stupid. Okay, now we get to the to the tripod proper. It's the same tripod, the same model that the Mantis Pod Pro had. It has these three legs that open up like this. So then let's put this like that. So now your camera is sitting. And this is great. You can also make it even more flat. There's a little button here that you push to get it flatter. And then the piece de resistance is this little foot here that you pull out. And now I did that last night. I took some pictures of my neighborhood on the front porch without bringing a tripod out. And I just hung it on my porch rail. This little thing it will now stabilize it on any kind of fence or branch. As long as you have something to rest these legs on, this one you hang it off and it doesn't go anywhere. It's better than any kind of Gorilla Pot that ever was because I had those two and they didn't work. And then that little tiny tripod, it works as a remote. You can use it as a remote for anything. You can have bunch of people standing there and you can take the picture. You can use it as a, a selfie stick, a gimbal if you put the uh, dynamic stabilization on the Sony camera on. And last but not least, it's, it's a super nice ball head that works with any Arca Swiss mount. And the whole thing is less than $100. I mean, that's the best mini tripod there ever was. I love this. I already love it. I barely used it five times and I already love it so much. Yes, that's basically all I wanted to tell you about today. Uh, other than, yeah, I have uh, my office revamped with lights and I changed a couple of drawers around and Christmas. I will be going on a mini vacation next weekend and I'm hoping to take some pictures and maybe a little bit of a vlog. No promises. I have to see how it goes. And then the weekend after that, it's going to be Christmas. So it's going to be, it's going to be a great, a great time. I'm very much looking forward to Christmas. Christmas for me is a time where I get reminded of my youth a lot. And it's, it's nice memories that I have. These are tough times, but Christmas, Christmas is special. Let's just think about Christmas as a time where we can focus on what's really important in life, not the present, but being together peacefully. So I'm hoping I have some time before Christmas to film again. So this is not my Christmas message. Don't, don't worry. This is just my second of Advent message, so to speak, because it's today, Advent 2, the second of Advent. There's four of them. And the fourth Advent this year falls on Christmas Eve. It's kind of very short, a short Advent this year. I really hope you've been doing well. I hope uh, you didn't miss me too much. I am not going anywhere. I'm still here fighting my way around YouTube with all the ads that are popping up everywhere now. Uh, still not monetized, obviously. If I don't produce my videos, I'm not gonna be monetized anytime soon. <laughs> but I'm doing this for you and I'm doing this for myself. So thank you so much for watching and thank you for being here. And I really, really hope to see you again in my next video. Bye.